16 off the grid places to visit. Yes, the world is full of amazing places to visit and we've looked at some spectacular destinations in some of our videos. But today we're going to get off the grid and visit some more obscure spots. 16. Bucket List Razuk Inc. which is located in Jerusalem's old city. This tiny little tattoo parlor has been operating since the 1300s. Of course, it doesn't look like it did then. But for centuries, this family-run business has been inking Christians on their pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Their tagline is Tattoo with Heritage since 1300. They even have a Facebook page which goes into depth about the family and their original cross tattoos. 15. Lost Luggage A most frustrating situation to be in, but most of the time it does get returned to its rightful owner. A definite place to swing by is the Alabama Unclaimed Baggage Center, also fondly known as the Land of Lost Luggage. One million people visit this quirky stop yearly, and it's been around since 1970. In 1995, they increased the size of the store, which now receives around 7,000 new items every day. Of course, every effort is made to connect owner with luggage, and most of the time if that doesn't work, the passengers are reimbursed. The owners of the store pay for the unclaimed goods, which is legally the airports after 90 days, and then resell it in their unusual store. 14. Book me a room, please. So, since we're traveling today, why not book yourself into the Panda Inn over in China? The entire hotel, which has a total of 32 rooms, is decorated with everything panda. Panda art, panda furniture, panda decor and linen. For an extra bonus, the staff wear panda suits all day. Yes, please. 13. Shrouded in mystery Scattered all across hills in Laos are lots and lots of jars, which people are still seeking answers for as to what exactly they are. Known as plain of jars, there are literally thousands of them. They are all different sizes and there are 90 different sites where the jars can be found. First guess would be that something was stored in these jars and the lids were possibly made with biodegradable materials. But legend says that giants used to brew their rice wine in them. 12. Pack a suitcase and head to Lithuania and pay a visit to the Hill of Crosses. It was originally built as a ceremonial site so people could mourn those that lost their lives in the war. The area was flattened twice by the Soviet Union, but people kept coming back and placing their own crosses. Now there are more than 100,000 and it's a very popular spot for visitors. 11. Splash of Color Harvard University is our next destination and we browse through the Forbes Color Collection, which houses over 2,500 color specimens put together by Edward Waldo Forbes. Edward used to be the director of the Fogg Art Museum at Harvard and some of the colors there are exceptionally rare or very toxic. This particular spot is for staff only, many colors being preserved to ensure that ancient artwork can be touched up if needed. But there are smaller libraries of color, like at the Library of Congress in Massachusetts. 10. Let your imagination run wild Las Pozas, or you can just call it the pools, is the most unusual garden found in the Mexican jungle. It's the creation of Edward James, who sought out this particular area as a refuge. Edward has spent his life traveling, but eventually settled here and created this 80-acre wonderland. This Garden of Eden has been in the making since 1945, and it cost Edward in the region of $5 million. Fortunately, he was a very wealthy man. There are trails, waterfalls, animals, birds and structures, some as high as four stories. 9. Aliens have landed You would seriously think that if you head to Hooper in Colorado and drop in at the UFO Watchtower. This property was created by Judy Messoline and features a huge variety of alien activity. You'll even find Melda and Scully and, of course, the massive Watchtower. That particular area has had a number of TV dockies done on it, as many UFO sightings have been reported from there. 8. Life's a game So play hard! And you can do just that, but only twice a year when the doors open at Papa. The Professional and Amateur Pinball Association is a warehouse that is 100 years old, and pinball players from around the world gather there twice a year to compete against each other, and one will walk away with the title of World Pinball Champion. 7. Door to Hell 
Well, if that's what the locals call it, so can you. This giant fire-breathing hole is in the Karakum Desert, and it's been this way for 40 plus years. 1971 saw geologists drilling at that site, and they drilled into a cavern filled with gas. Then their rig collapsed and made a giant hole. Afraid the hole would release poisonous gases, they hoped to burn it off. I'm pretty sure they never expected this. 6. Nature's Creation Called Split Apple Rock, this particular stone is found in the Abel Tasman National Park in New Zealand. Scientists believe that it must have split during the ice ages due to water seeping into a crack in the rock. 5. Not an original Ever wondered where those beautiful replicas of art come from? Devon is a small suburb in Shenzhen, China, and it's there that thousands of artists work tirelessly to recreate those works. The Daffan Oil Painting Village